the model gut. In this experiment, we are trying to see if large or small molecules can pass through the gut wall. So to show what will pass through after digestion. So to do this, we use visking tubing, which will act like the small intestine wall. We tie a knot on one end of the visking tubing, and then we fill it up with a mixture of starch and sugar. So starch is a large molecule, and sugar is a very small molecule. If we're about three quarters full our visking tubing with our mixture of starch and sugar, and then we place it into a beaker, sorry, a boiling tube, and secure the top end with an elastic band. Once we've done this, then we will surround the visking tubing with water and that will be to represent the blood because the digested food enters into our blood system into a beaker, sorry, a boiling tube and secure the top end with an elastic band. Once we've done this, then we will surround the visking tubing with water and that will be to represent the blood because the digested food enters into our blood system. So we will surround it with water and then we leave this for about 10 minutes and we will, we will test the surrounding water to see if there's starch present or if there's sugar present. So for our model gut, it's been left for 10 minutes. So we are now going to remove the visking tubing because we no longer need its contents. And we are now going to test the contents of the liquid to see if there's sugar present or starch present or both. So we will remove a small amount and add it to Benedict's to test for sugar. We place it again in a hot water bath. Then with iodine, we test for starch. So we add a couple of drops of iodine to the spotting tile. So iodine is yellow brown. If there is starch present, it will turn blue black. So if we add a couple of drops and you can see that it has stayed yellow brown, which means there is no starch present. Start seeing that the Benedict's is starting to change color which means there's sugar present. So for this experiment, for the model gut experiment, we can say that the starch has not passed through the gut wall or the visking tubing because it is too big, whereas the sugar molecules were able to pass across the gut wall because the Benedict's has changed from blue and it's starting to go orange at the top. You can see it's starting to change. So it has changed color when it was heated in the water bath. The iodine stayed yellow brown, meaning that there was no starch present. So that, there is, those are the results for the model gut experiment.